Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of the SketchUp plugin reviews series. In today's video, I've got another three free plugins I'd like to share with you all. So enough with the chit chat, let's get right to it. Today's first extension is Mirror by Curic or Zurich or Churich. Either way, out of all Mirror plugins in the SketchUp community, his one is the one I prefer. And let me show you why. Here. When I click on the tool, I can mirror this object with just one click, by clicking on a face or an edge. Most of the other mirror plugins use three-point plane mirroring, so you need to click three times instead of just one. I also love the fact that you can see an outline of the mirrored object before you can commit to the transformation. Another great feature is that by pressing Ctrl, you can mirror a copy of the object and keep the original one in place. And the last cool thing is that you can use the arrow keys to mirror the object on the red, green or blue axis. Well, if all this isn't enough to call this plugin the best mirror plugin out there, I don't know what is. Now let's go to our second extension of the week, True Bend by Thumb Thumb. This plugin bends instances to a given degree, keeping the original length of the reference segment that is the bottom front of the bounding box. You need to keep two things in mind when using this tool. One, you can use it only on components or groups. And two, the axis of the group or component needs to be set a certain way. Let me explain. In this component, the columns run in the red direction, while in the other one, the columns are on the green axis. True Bend tool bends the geometry that's on the red axis. See the difference when using the tool on this component. Anyway, it's easy to fix this behavior, just change the axis, no problem. With this, we've already almost at the end of the video. The third extension of the week is Path Copy by the Smuster team. This plugin allows you to select a path, edge curve or polyline in this case, and then select a group or component to copy along the selected path. You can choose to copy the group or component to set spacing by typing the distance into SketchUp's value control box here, or you can type 0 to copy to the path's vertices. And that is it. The only thing you need to remember is that it's not the geometry of the component that is put on the path, but the origin point of the component. If I change this component's origin and repeat the copy to path action, see that the components are not actually on the path, but their origin point is. So keep in mind that. So this is it for our second episode. If you want, you can find the link for the first one in the description. Let me know in the comments below which one of the three extensions I showed you today is your favorite one. Tell me if you want to see more of these episodes. And if you want to give me a helping hand, share this video with your friends. Don't forget to hit like before you go. And I'll see you in the next one. Sayonara!